DLDSR and DLSS have been tried and true methods within the Tarkov community to not only improve your visuals, but supposedly improve your performance as well and quote unquote, make the game run smoother. In this video, we're going to be breaking that down and saying why that's not necessarily the case and why you might want to avoid this setting. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, DLDSR or Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution along with DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling, have been technologies that were introduced for the RTX 20, 30, and 40 series GPUs to downscale and upscale resolutions respectively to each one of those terms in order to either improve your performance with DLSS or to improve your visual quality with DLDSR. For Tarkov, somebody got the bright idea to combine these two settings to not only get an improvement in visuals, but also get an improvement in performance as well. Though this can improve how your game looks due to the nature of super sampling, it's not all sunshine and roses. And I've, I've, I've tested it and uh, I, I just have to say it's a little bit rough in terms of performance, but We'll get into that in just a minute. The first thing I want to go through is how do you turn that on? Well, it's pretty simple, but there's a couple caveats that you need to note before you actually get it fully set up. So first thing you need to do, if you have a card that's compatible with this, is to go to your NVIDIA control panel, go to your manage 3D settings, and then in here you'll see a setting called DSR. There'll be two settings here, factors and smoothness, and each one of these will pertain to how the image looks and the resolution that's rendered at. So let's go to factors here. For me, I have two options that I can set, either a 1.7x deep learning scaling, uh, or not upscale, but increase to resolution. So I will then go to this resolution here, or I can go all the way to 3840 by 2160, which is roughly 4K. For the sake of this video, I will be checking both, but I'll only be using the 1.78 times just to show you guys the performance impact that that has. But once I select those two, you're gonna to wanna to hit apply here. Now, once you hit apply, your screen is going to go a bit crazy for a little bit, but once that's done, you should be brought back into your screen here. Let's do that. And once that's set, you'll be able to adjust the second setting here, which is smoothness. So this just determines on a sliding scale how much you want the image to be sharpened. If you want the image to be sharper, you're going to want to go to a lower value here. But if you want to be more smooth and sort of TAA looking, right, you're going to want to set this higher. Most people recommend going lower for clarity reasons. So I'll stick to the default for 33, just in case you accidentally leave it at that. The clarity with this setting is actually still pretty good, so I'll leave it at default, but your preference with this may vary depending on how sharp you like the image to be. Once that's set, there's a very important thing we need to do in the Windows settings before trying to set the resolution. So you want to go to your Windows settings, and then once you have this open, you're going to want to go to your system settings, and that should bring you to this display page right here. And you're going to want to change the display resolution up to the higher res image that you're going to go for. So for me, I'm going to go for the 1.78 times scaling, which if you remember was this 3413 by 1920 image. So I'm going to click on that. And good thing to note, if you see the screen right now, is that you'll need to change your OBS settings in order to record Windows correctly if you decide to use this feature. But I've already done that. So let's just swap here. Boom, boom. And now that that's set like that, you are now using that higher quality image. If you have a higher refresh rate display, however, you're going to need to do additional steps to make sure you stay at that original refresh rate. Go back to your NVIDIA control panel settings and go to the change resolution tab right here. Then with that, you're going to want to set the refresh rate up to your native monitor's resolution. For me, that's 144 hertz. So I'm going to set that there and then I'm going to hit apply and my screen's going to go batshit crazy again. There we go. We're all set. Then I just hit yes and we are good to go with that. If you try to go in here and change the refresh rate in the window settings without doing it in the NVIDIA, NVIDIA control panel, it will not let you. So just make sure you set it through the NVIDIA control panel. The final step to enabling this wonderful combination is to go to your settings here and go to graphics. And then you're gonna to want to set the screen resolution to that same resolution that you set in your Windows settings. So for me, that's this right here, the 1.78 times. And now you're gonna to wanna to go to DLSS for that sweet combination. And I set this to the quality setting. This uses a 66% render scaling, but this will still be rendering at a higher than native quality while still upscaling it to this 
higher resolution that's past your native resolution. So now that that's saved, you can now bring this into RAID and check it out. But there's a couple things within RAID that I want to show you before I can just flat out recommend this to use for everybody. So let's go in there and check out the reasons why I'm a bit skeptical. Okay, so we are back in the wonderful place that I do benchmarks in too often. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this at this point. And this right here is my native 1440p image. As you can see right now, we're getting roughly 90 FPS. And switching this over to our DLDSR DLSS combo here, our FPS gets cut by about 15 on average. I did do official testing with this on in streets at this exact location actually. And on the graph that you're seeing on screen right now, the difference was about this, if not a little bit more. The main reason for this is the increased GPU load that you get with enabling this higher resolution, even with DLSS on quality. If you are in a GPU bottleneck scenario, like the one I'm in right now, you will see a decrease in FPS. If you've watched other creators talk about this topic, the reason why some suggest that it feels smoother is because when they're CPU bound, their FPS, say if it's at 60, was far from their GPU bottleneck scenario of about 100 FPS. So for example, if I enable this DLDSR DLSS combo, their max FPS they get when they're GPU limited would be 80, but their max FPS while CPU limited would be 60. It lowers the GPU ceiling in terms of performance, giving them a quote unquote smoother feel even though in reality, they're just getting a lower average FPS. So for example, if you look at the delta in between the average and 0.1% lows of the two benchmark runs that I had, one with the DLDSR and DLSS thing on and the other one without it, you'll see that the average FPS I had was higher than with the combo, but my 0.1% lows were closer. So the difference in between the 0.1% low and the average of these benchmarks was less when you have DLDSR and DLSS enabled, causing it to quote unquote feel like a smoother experience. You're going in between two numbers that are less far away from each other when you have these two settings enabled. Not necessarily better, but it's quote unquote smoother because you don't see the jump as often. So in terms of gaining FPS, this is not a setting you want to turn on if you want to do that. Instead, the setting is for those of you who crave additional clarity within the image. If you saw the cross comparisons and I'll flash them on screen again for you, there is an improvement to overall image stability and sharpness at the cost of the performance, of course. DLSS handles most of the anti-aliasing anti pretty well, while DLDSR gives you that increased clarity that you wouldn't see otherwise. I would say, in my personal opinion, that this setting is personal preference. How CPU bottlenecked you are in Tarkov will determine how effective this setting is for you. For some of you, when you enable this, you'll see no performance impact on any of the maps that you play, which is probably because you are CPU bottlenecked in 90% of cases, resulting in no difference in performance when you have this combo enabled. But if you are GPU bottlenecked in some scenarios pretty commonly, as for instance I am, then turning this on may make you feel that overall your game is a little bit less smooth because, well, it is. You're getting less FPS on average. This won't affect how low you go in terms of a CPU ceiling, but it will affect how low your GPU ceiling is. And if you're hitting that bottleneck on your GPU all the time, this is definitely not a setting that you want to use if you're aiming for maximum FPS. Now, something I wanted to address, for those of you who were suggesting that this combo increases performance, which I've seen a lot, not to diss you, but the reason it's probably increasing performance is that this resolution up here in the top left isn't set correctly. See, if you don't set this resolution in the Windows settings, you will not be able to set the resolution to these higher upscaled ones even though they might be there for you in game. If you try to click on either of these without it being set in Windows settings, it will default to your standard resolution. And if you don't notice that and simply turn on DLSS quality, that's where you're seeing the bump from because you're just upscaling from a lower resolution to your native resolution. So please do keep that in mind. If you are enabling the setting, always check that the resolution is correct. The last thing is that overall, I haven't seen too much of an increase in VRAM usage, but this will increase your VRAM usage maybe over the brink depending on how close you are to that threshold when you're using it within 
online raids, especially in those more demanding maps like Lighthouse and Streets. But with that, I hope this was clear and concise for you to figure out if you want to use this setting or not. I've seen it circulating a lot this wipe, and I just needed to clarify it so that I could stop seeing it in my comp. Seriously though, I just wanted to clear up some of the misnomers around it and give you guys an actual guide on if you should use it or not based on the stuff that we've talked about since the beginning of this wipe with CPU and GPU bottlenecks. So if this helped you, make sure to support me with the like and subscribe button below. Uh, it really does help genuinely. I appreciate all of you for watching to the end of the video and stay tuned for tonight. I will be streaming and maybe trying out this setting in some more online raids. So if you're interested, pop on in at around 7.30 tonight. And if you have any questions regarding this setting or any other setting that I've talked about in my videos or just questions in general, feel free to join our Discord where we'll be more than happy to assist you. But with that, for now, I hope this guide helped you. And this is Clem, walking out. Later.